right, let's talk about cuddle therapy overnight sessions. Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and a boundaries and consent educator. So wait, you're telling me you do overnight sessions and I'm supposed to believe that this is platonic? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To go into a little more detail, in my practice, the only time I agree to do overnight sessions is to aid or for the purposes of sleep. Some of my clients have insomnia. Some of my clients have recently experienced the loss of a loved one and sleeping solo in a space is really challenging. Some people have anxiety or restless mind at night and another presence there, another nervous system to regulate with helps quiet that mind. I cannot diagnose anxiety. I certainly cannot have the qualifications to treat insomnia, but what I do have the ability to do is listen to my clients. And if they tell me something is beneficial for them and that we agree the purpose is to aid in sleep, we can try it and see if it works. The same code of conduct applies. So it is still a platonic service and all the other code of conduct is applied to those sessions. We add another stipulation that sleeping hours happen. The reason for that stipulation is I don't want to set the incorrect expectation that for the entire duration of an overnight session, I will be available to chat or be present in the same way as a shorter session during the day. Overnight sessions can be six, eight hours. And I definitely need my sleep. So if we do agree that this is for the purposes of aiding with sleep, my inability to be present and hold the kind of space that I do in a daytime session is a non-issue. And I will say that in my practice, overnight sessions are rare. And when they do happen, they're pretty magical. There are a few feelings in this world that are better than getting a good night's sleep after a long time of sleeplessness. And on a purely selfish, very personal note, getting the honor of being the person that can hold someone until they fall asleep. They feel comfortable enough, safe enough, still peaceful enough. Because I'm there, man, that's a really good feeling. And the sessions aren't about me, and they're not about getting my needs fulfilled. I just feel really grateful that coincidentally, that happened. I'd love to know what other questions people have about this, so please comment below and ask your questions. I'm also curious, can you empathize with the desire to have someone hold you until you fall asleep? Has that ever been something in your life that would have benefited you? Let me know.